And now, your first alert weather. We've been working at some sunshine with some slightly warmer temperatures, and we're steadily increasing those numbers as we get through the rest of this week on our way into the weekend. But we do hit a little bump in the road tomorrow with a slight chance of snow, but nothing major heading in this direction. Right now in Idaho Falls, we're at 20 degrees with some sunshine, light winds. We're seeing similar conditions at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Skycam with numbers right now 33. We're actually uh, right around freezing in Jackson and we're melting some snow there and the same for salmon. We're into the lower 30s. We got a little more cloud cover though coming in here into areas of central Idaho and this is the leading edge of our next system which is winding up here for Wednesday and as we go into places like Jackson you're seeing 32 no wind but some sunshine. The only spot really seeing the cloud cover right now is central Idaho as we're seeing a system work down from north Idaho tonight on the Viper and you're seeing also just a bit of some wet weather in parts of eastern Oregon and Washington. Nothing crazy in terms of amounts of snow heading in this direction. We're just going to be dealing with kind of this hit and miss light snow flurry action with some areas of fog for tonight and tomorrow. Big ridge of high pressure off the California Co Oregon coastline and here comes the next system riding around that ridge of high pressure and it's coming down in here from the north across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming for tonight and tomorrow. It's coming right along the jet stream but the majority of that snowfall will be in the north Idaho and Montana through tonight and tomorrow plus a little bit of that snow in in the areas of the Rockies for Thursday, but high pressure starting to build back in here to close out the work week with some warmer temperatures inbound as we head through this weekend. A look at the Viper cast tonight. We have a touch of some snow later on moving into areas of central Idaho. Again, it's a little bit cloudy up towards areas of Lemhi County, and we're dealing with a slight chance of snow, mostly into the mountains coming in later tonight. Also in places like Island Park and West Yellowstone through tomorrow. We do have a chance at seeing some of the snow getting into areas of the upper valley. Not much. Most of the snow, if we do see anything happening closer towards the national parks and back through Jackson. But the cloud cover is definitely seeping in here for tonight with some areas of fog and low cloud cover that's going to persist through much of your day tomorrow. By Wednesday evening, we clear out from the snow threat. We have still some fog out there as we get into Thursday and from the fog, you could get a few flakes. Snowfall amounts are still very low with the system. We're not expected to pull in a lot of wet weather here locally. Again, the majority of the wet weather for the next couple of days focused to the north and to the east of our region. Temperatures 31 tomorrow, McCammon into the upper 20s for Soda Springs after a low of 1 tonight, and we'll hit a high of 33 for Lava. We're into the upper 20s tomorrow for Rexburg and St. Anthony, right at freezing in Island Park, 21 for the high in Jackson, 14 for the low tonight in Salmon with a high of 33 for tomorrow, 1 below 0 tonight in Stanley with a high of 40, and a high of 28 in Arco, pretty chilly. 29 for Idaho Falls, yeah, cold outside. Numbers into the mid-30s for Pocatello, mid to lower 30s out towards American Falls, with numbers tonight into the teens. Expecting to see increasing clouds overnight with a minor threat for some snow. And then we're holding on to some cloud cover for Thursday with a few flurries. Sunshine this weekend in Blackfoot with a high of 32 on Saturday. Rexburg, 30 degrees for Thursday, 33 for Friday. And sunny skies on tap for Saturday and Sunday, with numbers topping off into the lower to mid-30s with overnight lows into the teens. Jackson, you have a chance of some snowy weather tomorrow with cloudy conditions, mostly cloudy skies on Thursday with a high of 31 and we're to the lower 30s this Saturday and Sunday around areas of western Wyoming valleys and even for the mountains pulling in some sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday. As we go to Salmon, you'll look for highs here 36 for Thursday, 35 on Friday and the mid to lower 30s this weekend. Pocatello, slight chance of snow tonight and tomorrow with mainly cloudy conditions and numbers actually looking warmer for Thursday, Friday with highs getting very close to 40 degrees and it looks like we'll actually get to that 40 degree mark by Monday afternoon. Idaho Falls, your eight day forecast, 29 degrees on tap for tomorrow, low 30s for Thursday and we're into the low to mid 30s as we work into this approaching weekend with plenty of sunshine to get us through the Saturday and Sunday overnight lows into the lower teens and temperatures are looking to stay steady at least for the start of next week. There's a storm that's going to try to work in here for Monday and Tuesday with highs into the 30s, but this one right now again, not a major system heading in this direction. So we we'll hopefully get some snow in here, uh, but we really could use a good storm and we don't see anything at least for the next eight to 10 days. Todd. Thanks, Michael. Let's check your consumer news now. Stocks rose today as investors digested another batch of corporate earnings and awaited key inflation data later this week. The Dow up 372 points. The Nasdaq jumps 